Aloha class, this is David Sofford uh, coming to you from work uh, and this is my city pair analysis. Uh, brief overview, we'll talk about how far do we fly, uh, the planes uh, that I selected, the company travel, and unmanned versus airline travel. So uh, we really want to invest in an uh, airplane for our company. Um, it's going to help us uh, expand our business and uh, we'll be able to go through and uh, see how aviation will help us instead of hurt us. It's going to save us a lot of money and time and valuable resources. So there's really uh, there, there's no reason not to invest in an airplane. And uh, I've got a couple different airplanes to select from. So to start off with, um, our COO travels uh, just over 30,000, almost 31,000 miles every year and accounts for 27% of all of our company's travel, uh, which when you take into consideration um, the amount of employees that we do have for our company, uh, taking a quarter uh, of the time just for the COO to travel, is uh, that's a lot. That means they're traveling a lot and it could greatly help our company. Our company alone travels uh, almost 115,000 miles every year. So the planes I've uh, selected that uh, I think would be great for our company um, is both a, one is a turboprop and the other is a jet. So to begin with, uh, our turboprop would be a Pilatus. It's a very reliable aircraft. It's very versatile. It's got great performance. It can uh, get us to where we go or where we want to go anywhere in the country. Uh, and really the only limitations is going to be fuel. Right? basically. And our jet aircraft um, that I would highly recommend is a Learjet 75. It's just as fast as traveling in an airline. Uh, however, just like the Pilatus, it can go into small airports, and which really expands where we can go as far as uh, independent airports throughout the country. Instead of having to fly through major hubs, we can go to smaller airports, and we can do it in a luxury and style and uh, be comfortable for the whole flight. Um, so just some comparison, before we expand our company into Oklahoma, uh, we are, uh, our aircraft uh, is going to fly um, just about uh, 100 to 150 hours uh, by taking the Pilatus uh, and roughly the same after expanding into Oklahoma. And the jet uh, obviously is going to take less time than the turboprop to get there. So we're gonna be spending less time uh, flying and more time doing business. So uh, as you can see from my chart, um, our, uh, uh, our total time saved is just gonna increase um, pre and post expansion. So we're gonna be gaining a lot of time back. Uh, so, on-demand versus airline travel. Um, obviously with on-demand, we can travel on our schedule at our time when it's convenient for us. It's gonna reduce the cost because now we don't have to pay for an airline to fly us. We don't have to pay baggage fees. Uh, it's gonna save us a lot of time. Uh, we don't have to rely on an airline. Um, and like I said, on airline travel, we're depending on that airline to be on time, to leave on time. Uh, there's a lot of factors that go into it versus if we have our own on-demand airplane. We don't have to worry about a bunch of that stuff. We can leave when we want to leave. Um, also with airline travel, uh, we can typically only fly into major hubs. Uh, so most of often than that, that means we do have to purchase a rental car after arriving to our destination and then drive after having to fly um, most of the day, if not all day, depending on the destination. So that's gonna make our tires, uh, our workers more tired. Uh, our employees are gonna to have to have more rest, uh, which takes time away from doing business and meeting important clientele. And uh, as I mentioned, it takes longer. So time spent away from the client is uh, money lost. So why not save ourselves some time and uh, make ourselves some money? So in conclusion, we talked about how far do we fly? The different planes that uh, I would recommend for our company, our company's travel and uh, on-demand versus airline travel. And thank you for to Liberty University for providing us 
with all of our metrics.